Oh my gosh, you guys, I have so much to do. We leave tomorrow at noon. It's 10 o'clock and we have so much to do. Anyways, I thought I would bring you guys along with my errands and moving horses and all the things. So let's do it. So Zara, Cozzy, Zara has a appointment with the vet today. She's getting her health cert so that we can travel out of state. So Cozzy, I'm coming. Lily first, she's a baby. You go next, baby girl, you know this. You know, I never don't give you food, okay? Seriously, goodness gracious. Booper. Zara. Oh, are you hungry? As I was saying, Zara has her appointment with a vet to get her health cert so that we can travel out of the state. She had her brand inspection yesterday, which went really well. I talked to the vet and because they have to put a thermometer in her tush, they asked that I dorm her. Well, to be fair, I offered, I asked if it would be helpful if I dormed her. There's like a chance that she would be totally fine. But what I don't want to do, like I really don't like twitching horses. I really hate it. I know it's like everybody has their own opinion on it. I don't like it. So I would prefer to just dorm her. If you're not familiar with dorm gel, it's basically a medicine that comes in like a warmer tube and you give it to them underneath their tongue and it slows down their brain and their body. Zara and I have done a lot of work with warming. Since I warmed her last, I have not practiced, which is a mistake because always like once you warm, you wanna practice again. So we'll see how this goes. Pete. There are treats on the floor, huh? Pete. Girl. Now she has to stop eating because this is going to kick in in the next 40, 40 minutes. So Zara is sedated still and I just thought I'll just give her a bath. You look so pretty. You're gorgeous. Look at your feet. They're so pretty and white. Wow. Let's see your brand. Ah, I think it actually does pop a little more. All right, let's practice trailering and then we'll put you away, okay? We just practiced loading. She did great. Well, it has been a crazy day. It's 10 o'clock at night and I'm just moving them. I've been doing so much work. It's insane. Car's loaded, house is clean for the house sitter. And I'm saying goodbye to my precious babies. Oh, I'm gonna miss you so much. Are you gonna be a good girl? I'm gonna miss my Zim Bin. Yeah, I am. Oh, Kazi's coming to get some love. Hi, baby. Hi, love. I'm gonna miss you too. Oh, you're gonna miss the itches, huh? I'm miss gonna miss you. You be a good girl. Keep Zinfandel in mind. Yeah. Are you ready to go? You wanna go on an adventure? You wanna go get Sister at the barn and then go on an adventure? Yeah, you do. Molly, you don't get to go, Kat. I'm sorry. You have to stay here. They don't allow lions at the campground. They said it's not safe. I mean, and I agree. I do. But I will miss you so much. And I know you'll miss me because you just love me. So, like I said before, we are going on a trip. For the next month, Zara, Zach, Zena, and I will be camping in Texas, New Mexico, and Colorado. As you know, Zara isn't yet under saddle, so we'll be hiking together and just allowing her to get used to loading in the trailer, unloading, hauling, and camp life. We also have some big news that we'll be sharing when we get to Colorado, but you'll have to wait for that one. Are there any guesses? If so, drop them in the comments below. If you've been around here long, you'll remember the big trip that I had planned with my friends. Well, without going into too many personal details, that didn't happen but I still have a longing for adventuring with my horses. The channel was named Gypsy Equestrian because I wanted to document my adventures and travels with my horses. The channel has taken different twists and turns, but adventuring is still at the forefront of my goals, hopes, and dreams for this channel, and for me personally. So for the next month or so, join me on that dream realized. We drove through a crazy thunderstorm. So, Thankfully, it's not doing that anymore, but it is warm, so we gotta get this car moving. Our first stop was in Texas, near Dallas. We stopped to hang out with some friends, and I kept Zara at a horse hotel in the area for a few days. 
She had a nice large paddock with grass and space to stretch her legs. I fed her alfalfa pellets and supplements, and once she was settled in, we headed to spend some time with our friends. You said you got alfalfa, you don't even want your bucket. But you need to. You need to. It's got your supplements. Just got salt and stuff in there. I want her to drink. Good girl. Zach and I are really into this board game called Catan. We like to play the expansion cities and nights. I'm honestly not really that into board games, but I love this one. While we visited, we also went out dancing in town. Zach and I used to dance bachata and salsa, but we want to do some country swing because, I mean, we are in Texas. So this is our attempt. My heart is open. It just took some time. Now I just hope that you stay for a little while. You fix what's broken when you make that smile. So just stay for a little while. Hey, do it, Zara. So pretty. The next day, I used the round pen to do some work with Zara but she really wasn't interested in training, which is not like her at all. She loves her positive reinforcement sessions. So I'm assuming, you know, it is an assumption, but I think that her being in a new environment took getting used to, and she just, yeah, wanted to check out her environment and not really focus on training. So we kept the session short, but I just wanted to do a little bit of work with her. And it was also so hot outside, so I personally wasn't excited about it either. So we kept it short and just did a couple little things and called it a day. Then it was time to load up and head to our next stop. We got up early in the morning and wanted to get the drive done before the heat of the day. Traveling with horses during the heat can be tricky. So we planned to keep our drive short and during the cooler parts of the day. Hi, sweet pea. How are you doing? Did you have a good day? What's wrong? So What's wrong, my lover? Zara seemed a little off when I approached her in the morning, but after she ate her breakfast, we packed up her stuff and began to load. I taught Zara how to load with positive reinforcement. Actually, most of her training has been with positive reinforcement, except her time spent at the trainers. Her experience with the trailer turned negative when she got in an accident at the trainer's house. So when I brought her home, I did a ton of work counter conditioning her to the trailer but sometimes the fear seems to come back and she'll completely shut down and become unresponsive to any type of training methods. Positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, even positive punishment doesn't work. Anyways, today she began to shut down and she refused to load. I pushed her too much over threshold and then she shut down. All of our trailering practice up to this point has been so low key and chill. And I think that the urgency to leave and having a deadline really threw a wrench into this loading attempt. Frustrated. Zara been working on loading in the trailer for two hours. Still won't load. I wanted to know that two hours is way too long. Obviously, I know this. But Zach didn't feel much after this. But even if he had, I wouldn't show it. I really don't want any advice in this area. I pushed her too hard, which I didn't show on video. She became shut down, which I also didn't show you guys. So this is not the whole picture. This is just pieces of the story. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't even know what time it is, but I think it's like two. It's probably two o'clock or something. Been working on loading for, since 10.30. This is real life. Zara and I have been practicing trailering for a long time and she's been doing great. And on our camping trip, she loaded up great, loaded up great the way home. I practiced a couple times in between, loaded up great on the way here. Obviously, she's not, didn't load it up great now. So it's just something to work through. Here we go. Honestly, it's really disappointing. And I know this is life and I know this kind of thing happens, but um, just like at the beginning of the trip, you know, cause we have a lot of places we're going and a lot of them are, just one day, one night kind of thing. And we already started our trip late. And yeah, so I just feel, feeling a little defeated because I feel like I had done, yeah, just put in a lot of time and prep and stuff. And this is just the reality of 
yeah, we're having to work through stuff. It's not like you learn it once and then you have it mastered. You know, there's always reverting and all the things. And I know, but I know in, you know, I know logically, but it's really hard. <laughs> it's just really hard. And it's like 95 degrees and we're both really hot and I'm exhausted. And I just hope that this isn't, yeah, how our whole trip goes. So eventually after switching things up and working at Liberty, I got her loaded twice. But by then it was the heat of the day and we weren't gonna haul with these temperatures. We decided to stay another night and aim to head out again in the morning. See you later, okay, sweet pea? I left the barn feeling defeated, disappointed in myself, and worried about how the rest of this trip would go. <laughs>